Often when making games in Unity, you'll need to be able to address certain elements of components on other objects and switch them on and off based on their parameters. In this example, I have a scene where a box falls down and another red box is also following it. So I've got several of these black boxes down here and the red one falls to the floor soon after. So this light is lighting the scene. I can move that around. But what if I wanted to switch on the light when the red box hits the floor to light up the scene? Well, the first thing I could do is switch off the light component of that object, meaning that none of those elements of the components are in action and then I could write a script to switch it back on and adjust one of the parameters of the settings of that component. So let's make a new JavaScript. Um, it's going to switch on the light so I'm going to call that light on and I'm going to hit edit and it's going to be the usual on collision enter so this is just an example of the way you could use this. I'll make a variable called my collision and it's of type collision and I'm going to check that for the red box hitting the floor so this script will go onto the red box and I'll say if my collision is with a game object with the name of floor then we need to do something so first thing we'll need to do is to find that particular component on that object. So I've called that object light with a capital L. So the first thing I'm going to do is say var my light. I'm going to create a variable which is of type light, again capital L, and set that equal to game object dot find. And I'm using the object's hierarchy name light. And then I'll say dot get component brackets capital L light. Then I can use that variable name my light to say dot enabled equals true. So when the game starts it won't be enabled but when this collision occurs when the red box hits the floor it will be enabled. I could also address one of its other parameters. So let's look at that light again very briefly. If I select the light, what else have we got? Well, we've got intensity. I could change that. So let's say my light dot intensity. Um, we could set it to five, for example. So when that collision occurs, it's going to find the object and use get component to address the component. And it's placing that specific component into this variable name. So whenever I use this variable name again, I can say dot enable to switch the component on and off, or I can adjust any of its actual parameters uh, simply by using that word to refer to it first. So if I save that, switch back to Unity, and drag light on onto the red box. Let's just check it's a component there in the inspector. Now when I press play, the box falls to the floor, the light has been enabled and the intensity has been set to 5. So that's a simple way of using get component to find a component on another object and set one of its parameters. You can also use that for a script if you had a variable in a script. Remember a script is just a component itself. So you could address it by the name of the script and change a setting by using the name of the parameter uh, via the variable name. So that's basic get component adjusting tweaking in Unity.